Okay, drawing the wavefront diagram. Ah, this is one of the famous questions. Eh? I believe that your first test or your first exam, ah, this will come out. So usually, okay, your teachers, eh, they will give you something like this. Okay, they will give you an obstacles or they will give you an openings. Okay, a lot of students, eh, they they don't know how to draw. Okay, so for the first one, okay, for the first one, because they they always think that okay, the fraction is the spreadings of the wave. So the first one they draw, okay, they draw something like this. Okay, uh, this is wrong. Why? Because for obstacles, eh, this part of the wave is reflected back. So there's no wave here. There's no wave here. So this is wrong. So the correct one should be something like this. Okay. Uh, it's important for us to know the difference between the patterns of the diffractions when a wave passes through an obstacle. This is ob obstacles eh, or a slit. This is obstacles. This is slit or opening. Eh? Okay, so uh, the pattern is different. Eh? The pattern is different for these two cases. Okay, so for obstacles, okay, the wave will spread after passes through the obstacles. Eh? It will spread here and spread here. So you will get something like this for obstacles, and for uh, this slit, eh? okay, or openings, uh, it will be something like this. It will spread like this. So usually the teacher will give you this and this, or or one of it. Okay, so make sure that you know the difference. Eh? Okay, for obstacles, it's like this, and for uh, opening, it's like this. Eh? Okay, and this may come out in objective questions as well. Eh? Now, uh, when you sketch the wavefront diagram, eh? okay, uh, make sure that you, you draw a spread. Okay, and then here we have a small curve here. Eh? We have a small curve here for obstacles. Eh? Okay, and make sure that the wavelength is still the same after the refractions let me show you uh, a lot of students they make mistake they, they use a uh, hands to draw okay they will draw okay something like this mm. now this is wrong okay why because you see this wavelength is so big and this wavelength is so small so the wavelengths shouldn't be different uh, after the fractions so for this one you don't need to be exactly the same actually but uh, it should be more or less the same uh, after the wavelength. Okay, if you draw this, ah, uh, then okay, okay, because uh, the wavelength here is more or less the same from the wavelength here. So make sure that you know the patterns and you also know uh, the wavelengths remain unchanged after the fractions. Eh? Now another thing that may come up in your test or exam is this: your teacher they give you this, okay, and then they give you another example which. The size of the openings eh, or the slit is smaller. They give you the smaller slit. Okay. Smaller slit or the bigger slit. Smaller and bigger. Okay. Uh, just now we have learned that if the size of the opening is small, it will spread more. Okay. And then as you see uh, the size, the shape of the wave fronts. Eh, okay. This one is uh, it's a curve. It's a curve, huh? If if the opening is small, okay, it look like a curve. Uh, but if the opening is big, how do we know it's big or small? Okay, you see the wavelength. You see the wavelength, huh? Okay. If the size of the opening is more or less the same, this is size of the opening, eh? And this is a wavelength. If the size of the opening is more or less the same as the wavelength, ah, eh, uh, then the wavefronts will be a curve. If the size of the opening is much bigger, this is the size of the opening. This is the wavelength. Okay? It's a wavelength. Huh? So if the size of the opening is much bigger than the wavelength, okay, then the wave, the wave after the diffraction is still a plane wave, okay, but with a little curve at the end, at both sides. That's the difference. Huh? That's the difference. The shape also different. This one is a curve. This is a straight line, okay? Mm -hmm. But this one, uh, the, the size of the opening is about two times eh, bigger, two times the size of the uh, wavelength, okay? So then you can see that I draw it uh, straight lines in the middle, eh? but the curve, a uh, big curve at both end. But usually your, your teacher won't give you this. Eh? They will either give you this and this. They want you to compare this and this. and then Usually they won't give you something in the middle, eh? okay? Teacher, we would like to test you to see whether you know uh, when the size of the opening is small and then the, the wavelength is a curve. 
and when the size of the opening is big then it's a straight line with a small curve small curve at both sides uh, it's a very famous question almost come up every year in the school test or school exam okay so first make sure that you know the, the difference of the patterns eh, of this and this obstacles and slit and seconds you need to know the difference between small uh, opening and a big opening or small slit big slit the patterns eh? okay and also uh, after the fractions the wavelength uh, still the same compared to this one